Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Chef Miguel and he's visiting us all the way from Cancun, Cancun. Mexico. He owns vegan restaurants in Mexico which are absolutely delicious. Vegan Planet, so if you're ever in Mexico you definitely need to check them out. Yep. And today we're gonna be making pizza, vegan pizza. Yeah. Original vegan pizza. Yeah. Because we made the cheese. Homemade. Yeah. We made the cheese, we made the sauce. And for our pizza, we got these pre-made pizza crusts. You can find them in any supermarket, really. Just make sure that they're vegan, because sometimes they'll put like milk, cow's milk. Another option is you can use pita bread, and you can even make your own. Today, we're gonna make it easier. First, we gotta make our sauce, our pomodoro sauce or tomato sauce. So we need about six tomatoes. Uh, I love the vegetables, so we gotta put more vegetables in it. Okay. Celery, carrots, and onions. All right. About two garlic cloves. One thing we forgot is like a little pinch of something sweet. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You That's can true. use maple syrup, which is my favorite. You can use a little agave, but just a little pinch of um, something sweet. A little pinch of oregano, mm -hmm. salt, and pepper. Another thing, this this sauce can be raw. We just we're making uh, cooked food, but this sauce you can eat it this way, like raw. So once that's blended, we put it in a pan. We're gonna heat it up for about 20, 30 minutes. But the more you heat it, the yeah. more the flavors will be like enhanced. Right, right, the bind, you know? Yeah. Now we're gonna make our cheese. Special cheeses, a brand new, unique recipe. You've never seen it out there before. Nope. It has oatmeal, it has cashews, it has a little lemon juice, salt, yeah. pepper, and nutritional yeast, yes, which is the key to give that cheesy flavor, you know? Yes. Blend that up really well, and we're also gonna heat it up, mm -hmm. and we're gonna be twisting it yeah. and turning it. You gotta make sure that you don't leave it by yourself in the pan. You gotta keep stirring, stirring and stirring. Why? Because everybody who, uh, anybody who has cooked oats, if you just leave it on the pan, it will stick and it yeah. will burn. And once the consistency is thick, you're gonna take it out of the fire. And now the fun part begins, which is making our pizza. First, we're gonna put our sauce, spread it all over, red sauce, and then we put our cheese. We could choose any topping. For this pizza, we use uh, red bell pepper, which is sweeter than the green, and the fiber is not that thick. Tomatoes, too. Tomatoes, bell peppers. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. And basil. And basil. Then at the end, a little oregano and, you know. Salt and pepper. Yep. Whatever spices that you want. We're gonna put them in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around 20 minutes. 20, yeah. 25 minutes. It depends how crispy you want the crust. You leave it for another five minutes or you can turn the oven off and just keep it right there, warm. Our pizza's ready! So and ready. It's so good, you guys. I'm gonna try it straight yeah. in front of you. I already tried it from my Spanish channel, but. I know, I already ate mm. one piece, so. Mm. But. Wow. See, the cool part is we made everything here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all, well, except for the crust, mm -hmm. but everything is homemade. It's easy, simple ingredients that you can find anywhere. So if you guys like this recipe mm -hmm. and if you wanna try it, definitely give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and with your family and let them know that vegan pizza is delicious too. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you can put any toppings you want. Yes. I like Kalamata olives. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but it's really good. <laughs> you know, onions, um, asparagus, 
garlic, roasted garlic, sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah. Sky's the limit. Exactly, even pineapple. Mm -hmm. Pineapple, so, yeah. Yeah, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You can follow Chef Miguel everywhere at uh, Chef Miguel Bautista. I'll leave all of his links below. And if you want a detailed recipe, check out the blog at Ravana.com and I'll leave the link below as well. And yeah, we're gonna go eat and we'll see you guys in the next video.